Hey, have you ever been called into a meeting at the last minute? Like you got 10, 15 minutes to jump onto a Zoom call or to do a presentation to this customer, blah, 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 blah. And you're all like, what? And you want to make that happen. Well, that's what I want to show you how to do today using an update just released for Prezi Video. Now, to be honest, this is creating a little bit of inception right now because what I'm doing is I have made in five minutes the presentation that I'm showing you right now and I'm showing you how to make the presentation in the past, which I already recorded I don't know. It's presentception, right? We've created this and I'm going to take you through it. And that's what we're going to do in this here video. So here's the thing, right? As I said, you've been called into the meeting. Time is ticking. You do not have time to mess around and you want to create a presentation in a rush. What are you going to do? And why does it matter being able to do this quickly? Well, one, you can impress people really, really off the bat. Earlier on today, I had a client meeting. This is an absolute true story. I had to jump in. I came up with a concept that I wanted to present to the client. I ran it past my team. They said, yes, it was quarter to the hour. I went, I found some images. I grabbed an image from another uh, presentation. I exported a JPEG, dragged those all into a crazy video, sat there, started chatting to the client. The client asked a question and boom, turned on the presentation, started rolling the slides. They were blown away and they hired us. The other thing is, just like in this particular meeting, but it also allows you to be tactical. If you can operate and create content like this on the fly very, very quickly, then you can respond to things like this very video is a response to Prezi releasing an update that I know they don't have like a proper big editorial page on yet on this content. So I thought, well, let me make a video quickly so I can have one of the first ones on the web showing how you can do this. Now, if it took me ages to create this content, that wouldn't be possible. But here I am at home in the evening at my house and I made this whole thing as you'll see in five minutes. It is that easy. So the ability to be tactical is great. Now, how do we do this? Well, for some of you, I mean, that you may know if you've been following this channel for a while that I'm a big fan of Prezi itself. In fact, this particular event I did recently was one of the two webinars I've done. And it actually talks about the different styles of Prezi scenes that you can create. This is what I call the side slide. And the tool that I'm presenting to you today is very, very much utilizing this slide slide. It's about getting these images that you've just seen appear here in this in, I mean, honestly, the building of this took under 20 seconds for the Prezi component. Finding the images took the other four, four minutes and planning it out there. So I thought I would give you a basic tutorial of how I did this. In order to make that happen though, I've got to go back to past me to a video I'm going to insert in here or in Prezi, which you can do, showing how to make this happen. So let's go back to past me and have a look at this video. Okay, so maybe I should bring this up full screen here so you can see what's going on. I started out in room research. I built out our action framework, uh, which is give us a reason to care, a reason to believe, tell them what they need to know, tell them what they need to do. I then plotted in the different images I thought I would want, inception poster, search for time, tactical, things like that. Once I realized the images I wanted, I jumped into DuckDuckGo to get the Inception poster. And then I headed over to Unsplash to search for the different images uh, that I would need as well. Unsplash is a great site, of course, because it's uh, completely royalty free. So it's no problem using it in videos there. Then I jumped onto YouTube. I grabbed a thumbnail from one of my videos and I was ready to go. I just wanted to drag these over so you would get a sense of how it would all look on my timeline. I, you know, when I when I popped them in and then I dragged in the images, I literally just popped in a bunch of blank slides and I was ready to go. That's it. Presentation built. Just basically open crazy video, open Zoom and recorded this thing. And I guess that's my call to action. That's how easy this is. My call to action is to be the person who just did it like I just did it create something today to blow somebody away. Go now, right now, download Prezi Video if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, hit the check for updates. And if I, if there's two things I can tell you today would be this. Number one, you always want to be the person who checks for updates because people are not asleep at the wheel right now. Software devs this year are creating content, you know, super, super fast. And number two, read the release notes. I keep on announcing features for products and people are like, wow, I had no idea I did this. I can't thank you for telling me. It was in the mail they sent you. The difference is I read the mail. 
So that's it for you. That's your call to action. And there's one more call to action. If you like this video, please hit like. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used it or ask me any questions about any presentation content that you would like me to present to you in the future. I've been a speaker for the last 18 years under a presentation company for the last 24. And I would love to give some of that knowledge to you to help you go out there and lead loud. Peace.